Hello YouTube, how you doing? Here we are again, Mayday US. Someone asked me if we were still doing the 5th and the 6th. I haven't stopped it. Just hadn't made a video on it in a couple of days. Although I'm putting one up as we speak to let everyone know that we're still doing it. And also let you know that to show you this video and to show you that he has climbed a little bit in the last few days real fast the web page itself also keeps changing I don't know why but it does yesterday it was a different web page now today it's this page again which is okay with me I don't care the only reason why I'm showing you this is to bring awareness to something now not to say that my Alexa, right, Alexa rating dropped on Tattoo 1009 to literal nothing in the last I'd say the last seven days maybe something like that and it was about two million which still wasn't that great but we're just talking about YouTube alright now I don't quite entirely understand it, but this is my related channel. It's seven million, and I ain't even. Only thing I do there is put up videos from my other channel over there. Now, in my opinion, this is a little weird for it to drop to nothing, and this channel's been open since 2009. Um, kind of strange, wouldn't you say? Um. And I also want to bring our awareness to this. This may have something to do with it. You see these two videos, and you see my video, see another one of my videos, and then you see several more of my videos. Okay, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Okay? And they don't like the publicity, I guess. I don't know. Or they know someone like uh, uh, wrong one, this one, like this fella, him and you know the computer gurus that started the first that sold the first computer computer at Radio Shack for six hundred and sixty six dollars and sixty six cent. Wow, got plenty of money. Why don't he just you know, donate the whole five million. Which that's probably what he's doing, wouldn't you say? Don't know that. But <clears throat> I did want to show you <clears throat> that he responded with this. He's gonna argue with me, or they are gonna argue with me with the word democracy. Well, we are a democratic republic and we are representative democracy yes we are he's not wrong about that my beef about that is in this comment right here you see the 17th amendment it refers to us as a representative democracy in 1913 before that we were a democratic republic, which that's what we're supposed to be. I also added this in here as well, the full definition, you can read it for yourself on that page. Uh, you can, I'll actually put it on the web page for everybody to see, so I'm going to show you that in a second too. And on this particular thing right here, I put this on there, which now only person that can read this is me. For some reason, this one has been blocked out because I've been to this channel several times with different channels, and other people tell me that it's not there. That's the reason why I'm assuming that it only has one thumb up. Now, <clears throat> I'm doing this not to hurt these people I know that they're trying to do the right thing or at least I think they are 
okay? What I'm trying to do is convert them into believing in the truth instead of in false accusations of lies of democracy, which the man right here that you see was entitled or was in the backing of the Wall Street, Occupy Wall Street. And what did they holler there? Democracy, did they not? Yes, they did. They hollered it a lot. They chanted it walking down the streets. They got democracy. Once the 51% was tired of it, they got rid of it, didn't they? They started beating them, spraying them with chemicals, and all of that. Now, what he's doing, if he was to spend the money and help everyone do exactly this right here, okay? Stay at home on the 5th and the 6th of July. And the ones that can afford it, and the ones, the business people, the business owners, was to close down those days <clears throat> to help would be a big prop would be a big help it would now the reason why I'm doing this is simply for that reason and somebody wrote me a comment in some kind of foreign language that I don't understand can't read it and I'm not gonna look it up because I don't even know what language it is don't matter point being is this folks the world has some form of democracy in it. The word democracy is destroying this world. Now whether anyone cares to understand or believe in the meaning of the word democracy is here. And it also states in here about how democracy has been corrupted and twisted for many, many centuries and years. The word can is, can, is, and can be a good word. But the way that the people of the world understand the word, it is corrupt. And you will never get anywhere with it. Now, if you call it a democratic republic, in which it was originated from, then you have the definition of our republic correct. But if you come back with, to me with a comment with a democracy, I'm sorry. In my opinion, and it's not just my opinion, it has to do with this act right here. The 17th Amendment in which affected, took effect in 1913. Okay? That's really all I want to say. And at the bottom, in the below section, if you'll come over to this web page, I'll put the link in there. This is the day, this is the page, you click on it, and it takes you to the page to show you and read all the information that you need on that page about the 5th and the 6th. And the rest of this, there's two videos, this one and this one this one and the video that I'm making now will be on here but you can also see the political backing and the power that this guy has like the Huffington Post of course his website which was another page at one time as you see there and then you see all of the informations and IP addresses and uh, who he is and what he does, where he come from, and he's connected with his website itself is connected to Speedcoin and uh, Bitcoin as well. As you see the information all here, I didn't back up, and I'm not telling you anything other than, in my opinion. I went to the Wayback Machine and he goes back to 2011. There is nothing on none of those pages except for the day that I took this one screenshot of the web page that happened that started on May 5th 
I mean May 30th. Now, this is screenshots of my page with his commercial. And in his video, he states that they're not going to use the money to advertise. Uh, okay, well, somebody is. Because I don't know if y'all know it, but to do that, what he's doing there to have an ad run on your video is very, very expensive, guys. I mean, it's not cheap. And here's another one. Another one. That's uh, Monograph's channel. This is Mark Dice's channel. This is Dabu's channel. And this one here had a whole, um, I think it's a whole 31 second video. It almost shows this, this whole video complete. And then this girl's got one. And then SO as well. Now, I'm making this video mainly just to show y'all. You can come here, make your own determination. You can go look up these links if you want to as well. I didn't provide you no links, but you can find them. I mean, all you got to do is look up the name uh, and click on it. I mean, it's not hard, okay? It's not hard at all. It didn't take but a, about four hours to do it myself, so, and I'm slow at it. Some of you guys can do it in three or four minutes. About that. This right here is Monograph's new video. And I'm going to be quite honest with you. I'm going to show you this too. He's got a commercial. And if you start this video over again, let's start it over. Let's see what shows up. Do it again because I don't want to see that. That ain't one that was on there a minute ago. Let's see what pops up here in just a second. There you go, right there. Yet again, this morning, it's here, right here, and it's there on his video. <coughs> a video which I might add. And I want to uh, throw my uh, ad out to him because Monograph did a wonderful job on this video. And it seems to me, and I don't, I don't mean this in any direct information to anybody, but uh, it seems to be that me and Monty are the only ones that have real balls that will go off on these people and not be scared of it. The rest is just say, well, leave me alone and I'll do what I need to do and get her done. Well, if you watch his video here, uh, it's awesome. It, it is very, very good. You need, to, you need to know what he's telling you here. You do, because what he says is great. And folks... I've done my due diligence to do my help to help y'all. It's your turn to help everyone that you know is putting out the truth. The links are provided in the below section <coughs> to all the websites, the main page, and certain pages that I want you to see first will be at the top. Then I got Facebook, Twitter, StumbleUpon, and other things as well. And I did have Godlike Productions, but uh, just recently they sent me an email. See, I can log in over here. And it won't log in. It just goes back to the same thing. Uh, they actually, I had a paid subscription and they kicked me off because I was promoting this. I was promoting the truth about this. Now, it's up to y'all folks. It seems to me that certain people want certain information, certain people don't. And when you don't put out the right correct, you know, the right information, 
to help them, then you're, you know, just garbage under their feet. And the reason, as you see right here, my subscription to Godlike Production been canceled by Godlike Productions. Uh, really? Ain't that wild? But hey, just my opinion. All right, folks. I got a little bit of an interruption there for a minute. I'm sorry. I kind of lost train of thought of where I was going with the video. But it doesn't matter. I've said enough in this video that you should understand by now what I'm really doing. I want the same thing that I think these people do want. Or at least I hope they do. I hope it's not an organization that is just using the fear of the people and the strain of the people of being slaves already to enslave them more. We want our freedom back and we want our sovereignty rights back and we want our republic in which it was written, written back before the Act of 1871. The law comes before they created an act in which they said that they abolished the Act 1871. But they didn't. In 1887, they conversed it again. They re implemented it. Or seven, I'm tall, sorry. 1878. They inverted it. They pulled it right on into another bill. <clears throat> and that bill goes into a lot of different other bills. Just like I told you from the very beginning. There's a lot of information about all of that. I'm working on a new blog on that. It's going to take some, ser some serious work to figure it all out. But this country is still a corporation. No matter the way it was done, the way it's presented, we're still a corporation. The United States is still a corp. We the people have allowed it to be destroyed. And we the people are the only ones that's ever going to get it back. So with that, from my cold, dead hands, abolish the Act of 1871 and all the bills that they've changed and transferred to create this corporation government. Much love to y'all. Y'all have a good day. We win the day. The Fourth of July will no longer be known as an American holiday. But as the day when the world declared in one voice, we will not go quietly into the night. We will not vanish without a fight. We're going to live on. We're going to survive. Today, we celebrate our Independence Day. Please go to the links in the below sections so you can actually see the real information and all the information that goes along with the story that I may be telling you. So you can see the truth of everything, including the Act of 1871. So much love to y'all. Y'all have a great evening. And for my cold, dead hands, abolish the Act of 1871.